You know, engines are just like life. Timing is everything. So today we're going to have a quick chat about the timing belt in your car. First of all, check your owner's manual to see if your vehicle has a timing belt. You'll find that most manufacturers recommend the replacement of it somewhere between 60,000 and 80,000 miles. So the next thing you think is, well, it's just a belt. It can't be more than a hundred bucks or so, right? Eesh, I wish. I'm afraid it's a little more than that because you have to take the front cover off the engine to do it. And that takes a little while, typically about four to six hours. So that makes it a little pricey. So when we tell customers it's going to be five or six hundred dollars to replace it, their next question is, well, what does it do anyway? So what a timing belt does is it controls the movement between the camshafts, which move the valves up and down in your cylinder, and your crankshaft, which moves the piston up and down in your cylinder. So if this cup is a piston, and this is your valves, the timing means that these guys move in sync. But if the timing belt breaks, then the timing is thrown off and bah, they'll run into each other and the valve gets all screwed up. So then you've bent your valves. And Jake, how much is it for a valve job? Thousands. So that means it might be a good investment to go ahead and get your timing belt replaced. So if you've got a question about your vehicle and its timing belt, go to our Facebook page and ask it. And hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to take it to the house.